Hello, welcome back. Productive, not busy with me, Coach Wayne. Today, we're going to talk about 30 minutes to greater success, a winning routine to start and end your day. You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. So we're going to start with winning routines to start and end your day. We're going to talk about your goals, your routine, your AM routine, your PM routine, some general tips for success, and then hopefully we will make it where you are productive and not busy every day. See, everyone has routines that they follow. Some routines are more successful than others, right? The star employee at work has a routine, as does the employee on the verge of being fired, okay? Your slim fit neighbor has a different routine from your overweight non-exercising friends okay routines are important because much of success is the result of small actions over long periods of time right it's not possible to lose 50 pounds or rise from the the mail room to the executive suites in one week those with more exciting results have more effective routines it's that simple so what are a few of your routines? Okay, think about it. Think about the segments of your life that are repeated on a daily basis. For most of us, this will include getting ready for work, the first part of work, the last part of work, our evening routine, right? You already have a routine for these parts of your life. But have you been thoughtful about them and attempted to maybe construct routines that help to support your goals? You might think that 30 minutes isn't enough time to accomplish anything worthwhile. But the benefit of a 30-minute routine over months and years is spectacular. Consistently being on time, prepared, and spending your work time intelligently and productively separates the successful from the average. Plain and simple. If you think you can't spare the time, keep in mind that you're already spending the time and you already have routines. So it's just about being purposely, you know, about constructing routines that make sense in much more effective ways, right? Coach Vince Lombardi from the Green Bay Packers used to say, the price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. So first of all, you need to know your goals. The odds of creating the optimal routines for life will be hampered if you don't know where you're going. Simple routine for a medical student, right, might not work in an off- as a, for an office worker, right? The marathon runner wouldn't have the same workout as a routine as a bodybuilder. If you aren't clear on your goals, take the time to give it some thought, right? You got to know your goals for these areas, okay? What's your goal for health and fitness, for example? Do you need to lose some weight? Do you need to gain some weight? Do you need to drop your blood sugar pressure? Manage your blood sugar or do anything of that nature more effectively. Next would be your finances. Do you have financial goals? Are you primarily interested in reducing your debt or are you saving for a house or for a retirement? And then career. What is your ideal job and salary? Do you have the training and knowledge to accomplish that? And can you get there within your current company? And lastly, relationships. Are you happy your relationships with your, you know, maybe your significant other or your friends, your sphere? How are things between other family members and yourself? Are your work relationships going well? You have to look at all that. Be sure to include any other areas of life that are important to you. But these four areas are frequently a source of stress for most people. 
if they're not under control, especially. Feel free to develop goals in every aspect of your life. Put it on paper. That's what I do. It only makes sense to develop routines around achieving your goals. Let's consider a few routines around enhancing success, right, in a common working environment, let's say. Let's look at your morning routine. You'll find that in the mornings, your mornings get off to a good start usually. The rest of the day tends to go smoothly. It sets the stage to have a good day and perform at your best. Most morning routines are kind of wishy-washy designs to allow for getting up as late as possible while barely getting to work on time. If that sounds like you, then it's hard to have a successful day that way. So a morning that enhances success looks like this. Number one is get up on time. Are you routinely late to work, let's say? Others notice whether you realize it or not. Put your alarm on the other side of the room and avoid getting back to bed after you hit the floor. Ensure you're getting up early enough to comfortably get ready to start work on time. If you're going to stop for Starbucks, leave a little early. You might want to give yourself a little time in case there's an accident or traffic's bad, right? Give yourself plenty of time to complete your morning routine and set your alarm clock appropriately. Morning hygiene, let's say, right? Is your grooming appropriate for your goals, let's say? You might be acceptable for your current position, but are you acceptable for the position of your dreams, right? Avoid being the person that shaves every other day or refuses to give up, you know, a haircut that went out of style 15 years ago. Something as simple as brushing your teeth and flossing daily. These are all important habits for your appearance and your health. Next, you got to review your goals. This is a great time to remind yourself of the things you're trying to accomplish. How many times have you set a New Year's resolution? And after a week, it's gone. Half the time, you don't even remember what it was. Keep your mind focused on the prize by reviewing them every day, setting milestones for success, eat an appropriate breakfast. What appropriate, you know, what, what, what is an appropriate breakfast? Well, it depends. Some people like to eat heavy. Some people like to eat light. Some people don't like to eat at all. They just drink coffee. Give it some thought and make some wise choices. Maybe get out of your comfort zone there and try something a little different, eating healthier, Next, you can meditate or pray, whatever your choice is there. Put your mind in a good place before your workday begins. It doesn't need to be anything elaborate. Just do what needs to be done to feel confident, focused, and relaxed. Right? It's the purpose of this podcast. I want to help you do life and business, confident, focused, and with a plan. Next, make sure you have everything you need for work. Do you have the necessary papers? that you brought home with you yesterday? Do you have your lunch? Do you have lunch money? Your reading glasses, an umbrella, right? Do a quick check before heading out the door. Super important. It, it allows those little surprises to not ruin your day. Then as on your way out the door, take a last look in the mirror. Do you look your best, right? Make sure part of your breakfast didn't find its way onto your shirt. Make sure your shoes and your so socks match. Think of it as a last check before starting your work day. Most of us have to get ready for work several days a week. Have you ever taken the time to optimize that routine maybe? Maybe put your clothes out the night before instead of rustling through something, looking for something clean to wear to work. If you haven't, it's highly unlikely that your routine is supporting your objectives or what you say your objectives are. Morning routines can be the most challenging to alter, really. You're likely tired or pressed for time. The kids are running around, not up on time and at least a little disgruntled attitude arises at work from all of that stress. But that's what makes a morning routine so important. It's an easy way to out, outperform the person in the next cubicle. You don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun your hiking partner, right? Arrive at work a little better prepared, maybe, a little more energetic and cheerful and looking your best. Don't go overboard, but just be at your best. A slight improvement in any area can be easily achieved and make a huge difference. Making small changes over time will improve the likelihood of lasting change. Add one thing to your morning routine until it becomes easy to perform. Don't try to do them all at once. And then continue adding tasks until your routine's complete. 
So what does a work routine for the AM look like? Well, a general work routine is a difficult is difficult to recommend due to the wide variety of careers, okay? When people ask me, I have to ask them a lot of questions about what they do. A morning work routine for a manager in an office setting will be different than for a truck driver. The basics are the same, but there is gonna be some alters there. An appropriate morning routine should enhance your workday and take care of the routine critical tasks. Gather the information you need in the morning, to make more informed decisions about how to best spend your time and energy. An example of a morning work routine for a manager, let's say, is you wanna chat with your supervisor. Ideally, your supervisor will have routine that includes informing you of the night's happenings so that you can continue on the workflow in a nice, smooth fashion. Greet everyone else on your team. It's super important to take a few minutes to say hi to everyone that works for you or influences your team's efforts. Everyone likes to feel important. It's also a great way to get the scoop on everything that's going on. So nothing surprises you out of of nowhere. Give your email a quick look. Most email is varying degrees of worthless noise, honestly, but there are often a few that are super important. Find these important emails and make a plan to address them. Also, check your voicemail. Nothing worse than having a full voicemail. People can't leave you important messages especially if it's work-related. A few people do still use the phone to communicate, okay? See if anything important is going on. Update your to-do list. Alter your to-do list based on your morning communications and messages. I have everything on my desk and everything that I do, I have three different companies that I run. I have a must-do pile, a have-to-do pile, and a like-to-do pile. And then I work on that stuff accordingly. So alter your to-do list based on your morning communications and messages for sure. Be sure your list is still prioritized. Many things seem urgent in the morning, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are that important. They have to be addressed right that second. Everything is an emergency to someone, right? But is it an actual emergency for you? Prepare for morning staff meetings. I always hated coming in and the manager or the boss being unprepared for his own meeting. The meetings that happen every day are a great way to make a good impression with your peers. Your preparation for these meetings has a huge impact on the way that you are perceived as a leader. If you're underprepared or can't answer the important questions, you're going to have a reputation that suffers. I promise. Get started on your first to-do item. Getting some real work done early in the day creates momentum for the rest of the day. Your prioritized list is your guide for your time and your efforts. A good morning at work increases the odds of having a good day complete. Reflect on your current routine and consider how it can be enhanced. Everybody's routine can be enhanced, including mine. Spend your morning effectively and the rest of your day is likely to be productive and stress-free. Right? Robert Kiyosaki said, the, the size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire. The size of your dream and how you handle disappointment along the way. So what does a work routine for the night look like or for the PM? Well, most of us are frantically working until a lull near the end of the day permits our escape, right? We run out the door. However, how you end your workday is an influence on tomorrow. A late afternoon routine can enhance your effectiveness and success at work. Take advantage of the lull that commonly happens in the afternoon and get ready for tomorrow. Use your afternoon effectively, right? You can tie up loose ends. Few things weigh on our minds more than some unfinished business, right? Afternoons tend to be a little slower for most of us. So focus on getting things complete off your desk and off of your mind. So when you get home to your family, you're clear. Create a new to-do list. Your critical list of tasks is always evolving. Before clocking out for the day, create a new list for the following day. Some leftover items from today's list may or may not make it on the new list. Ensure that you're prioritizing your list in a way that makes sense and highlight the three to five most important things. That's your must-do list. And then check in with your boss. This is another one. There's a good chance they'll have a comment or two that will impact your task list, I promise. Maintaining regular communication is important. Your list will change based off of that, right? 
So check in with your direct reports and your coworkers. Gather as much information as you can without taking too much time. Little five minute stand up meetings, 15 minute stand up meetings, right? That's a great way to have a, a chunk of time set aside and you know that you have to make the use of it. It's not a bullshit session. Focus on getting critical information in time. Your employers and peers will learn to provide what you need from them. My favorite saying, don't build me a clock, just tell me what time it is. Update your list. So when, once you get armed with your updated information, your list might require an update, a tweak or two. Incorporate any new priorities that come onto your list so they don't surprise you. And then before you leave, clean off your desk. Coming into a messy workplace in the morning is a depressing and unproductive moment. A little time in the afternoon to declutter your desk and filing away papers is an effective way to stay organized and keep track of your work. Items located at the bottom of piles tend to get forgotten. Schedule 10 to 15 minutes at the end of each day to tidy up. Getting a fresh start in the morning is priceless, I promise. Next, check your email before you go out. Make one last pass at your email and address anything that's super important and delete as much as possible. Next, check your voicemail. Do the same thing for your voicemail. In fact, voicemail items tend to be more important than communicated by email. Next, this is something else that was big, especially when it came my car business days. I always went around and said goodbye to everybody. You're likely to be happier, more fulfilled if you take the time at the end of the day to say goodbye to people. Others appreciate your effort and attempt to do and say things positive to each person on your way out the door. It just sets the tone. Next, this is a big one. I want you to unplug. Unless your position requires that you be in constant contact with work, give yourself a break and turn off your phone and your computer. Everything and everyone will still be there in the morning, I promise. Everyone needs a chance to relax and recharge. I utilize my trip home. Whether you're riding the bus or subway or in your car, you probably have a significant amount of time at your disposal on that trip. You might use it to listen to a book on tape or some meditation music that will, you know, or some information that will help further your career. Listening to music that helps you unwind is good. Just ensure the time is being used effectively. Don't let it go to waste. It's common to slow down and catch your breath late in the afternoon. I get it. Instead of looking out the window to see if your boss's car is gone, use the time to take care of blue sands and get ready for the next day. Consistently doing things that others won't do is a common theme on the road to success. Clean desk and a fresh to-do list will work wonders for your mood and productivity. So here's some general tips for successful routines at work, okay? While a specific morning and evening work routine won't work for everybody, there are common themes that are important to consider for any career or nearly any career. Number one is get started quickly. Take action. Avoid getting to work, flopping down at your desk or workstation, catching your breath, shooting the bull with your, with your coworkers, hanging out at the coffee machine. Momentum is challenging to regain once you stop. Knowing what needs to be done before you get to work can make all your difference. Avoid isolating yourself. Communication is freaking critical to success on the job. The further up the ladder you travel, the more important it becomes. Ensure that communicating with the relevant people is a part of your routine. Then you want to basically do the next thing, which is avoid distractions. There are many potential distractions at work. Gossip, email, internet, general drama, that's all distracting. Avoid it. Avoid distractions and focus on your workday. Let everybody else waste their time, right? Everybody has those people. Let them waste their time. Avoid work that has minimal impact. It's common to confuse being busy with being productive. Many of us could work half as much and get twice as much done with just a little focus and a little organization and prioritization. Next, get a little exercise. Exercise might require its own routine if you're intent on keeping your success routines to 30 minutes or less. Okay, like this 
episode was titled, exercise is obviously beneficial to your health, right? No doubt about it. It's also effective for reducing stress and increasing focus. So a little exercise in the morning will energize you the rest of the day. Get up early. Go for a walk. Walk on the treadmill. Take the dog for a walk. Keep these items in mind when creating your work routine. Stop working your routine as soon as you walk in the door. Right? Start, start working your routines. Excuse me. As soon as you walk in the door. Get busy on important work and find out what you need to know for the rest of the day. Right? The guy, uh, Michael Dell. Dell Computers. You don't have to be a genius or a visionary or even a college graduate to be successful. You just need a framework and a dream and a plan. Well said. Next, evening routine. Ending your day in a thoughtful and effective way is just as important as starting it. Evening routine should support your goal and helps to set up the following day. If you haven't really thought and developed your evening routine, you're missing out on a key success tool, if you ask me. First one is to relax, right? Take part in something that provides mental relaxation, whatever that is for you, right? Reading, watching TV, listening to music, or taking a walk. I play guitar, 15, 20, 30 minutes. You know, whatever relaxes you, but do it for like 30 minutes. Spend time on your hobby or something that you enjoy. Success isn't just about your career, okay? Being successful also means having some leisure time to spend on something that you enjoy, genuinely enjoy. Plants, your yard, washing your car, playing with your dogs, playing with your kids. If you haven't dreamt of playing the violin or something, right? Or learning some other new hobby, it's important to schedule that time. Because if you don't, it'll never start. Next, like I said earlier, choose your clothes for the next day. Avoid running around in the morning searching for clean socks or a shirt that matches your pants. Pick out your clothes and lay them out the night before. And then dress like your boss, not like your coworkers. Learn something that will further your career. Most people reach a certain level at work and then stop learning. How many people do you know that spend even 10 minutes a day getting ready for their job? Most people reach a certain level at work and then stop learning. How many people do you know that spend even 10 minutes a day getting better at their job or their craft? You could learn how to be more effective communicator or how to be more organized. Think about your weakness and learn something that will address that. No one else is going to do it for you, which is exactly why you should do it for yourself. You always want to review your to-do list. Give your list a quick glance before going to bed. Add any important tasks that need to be completed tomorrow. You'll wake up knowing exactly what needs to be done. So you'll pretty much have a plan. And then review your goals. Before turning out the light, take a moment to review your goals. Sleeping after focusing on your goals is very powerful. You're instructing your brain to find solutions that will make your dreams come true. That's what my boss used to tell me. Next, you want to go to bed on time. What is on time? Well, that varies from person to person. Just ensure that you're getting enough sleep to get the maximum effect. If you're sleeping significantly longer on the weekends than you are during the week, you're probably not going to bed early enough. Try to level out your sleep schedule. How tired are you in the morning? Going to bed earlier could be a solution. There's some people that require more sleep than others. There's no right answer to that. I function well in about six, six and a half hours. Any more than that, it kind of makes me sluggish. So end your day with a routine that makes having a successful day more likely. Consider your goals and responsibilities at work and then develop a routine that supports those. Everyone else will be watching TV while you're laying the foundation to get ahead. So success and routines go hand in hand. Okay, developing routines that are geared towards supporting your success and repeating them daily almost guarantees that success. Any segment of your life that repeats is worthy of a routine. Let me say that again. Any segment of your life that repeats is worthy of a routine. Few of us ever take the time to optimize the process in our lives. It's really sad. The period of time before work sets the stage for the rest of the day. 
a pre-work routine can ensure that you arrive at work on time, motivated, interjected, and looking and feeling your best. Contrast that attitude, appearance, and productivities to your peers. You'll easily stand out in a positive way, I promise. Your work morning is an optimal time to gather information and strategically apply it to the rest of your day. So handle daily tasks quickly and on time. Communication with your team, your boss, and your peers is pivotal. The late afternoon is using your time for tying up loose ends. Take care of business. It doesn't require a lot of thought and preparing for the following day. While most employees spend their afternoon lying low until it's time to leave, you'll be moving ahead. How much progress would you make over the course of a year if you tried this? Reviewing goals, relaxing, preparing for the next day are the goals of the evening. Now is also a wonderful time to enjoy a hobby while you can. Enjoying your free time is a part of success. It makes you better at everything. Ensure you're spending at least part of your evening on an enjoyable hobby or task or activity. Ultimately, routine should support your goals, no doubt about it. Have a set of goals prior to developing your various routines. 30 minutes is a small price to pay for success. You're already spending the time, so spend it in a way that enhances your life Uh, your success, your business. It's important. Success is not measured by what you accomplish, okay, but by the opposition you have encountered and the courage which you have maintained, right, the struggle against all the overwhelming odds and obstacles that, that come in your way. Get rid of the limiting beliefs. 30 minutes can be done. Give it a try. See if it enhances it and give it a time to become a routine. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and say something nice to somebody. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram, at frontline.coach.wayne and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.